have some energy. You know I wish the best for you. Will you die for like I was laying next to you? I'm a side, we gon' take killing to the next level. My bang is paramount for they make me grab my next shovel. And that's on God, better act like you reckon I Turn me up, you two. Actually, we gonna turn it down a little bit today, y'all. We gonna have the message of today, know your worth. It's literally that simple. And I went through a situation that really rubbed me the wrong way because somebody had treated me a certain way. And if y'all don't know me, a lot of y'all don't know me, but if you're real close to me, I'm one of the nicest people, most chillest people on this earth, you know. And I give my all to everybody and I make sure everybody's okay before myself sometimes. And for people to be doing that, you know, treating me wrong and I treat them with the utmost respect, stuff like that rubs on me. So I just want to let y'all know today's episode is going to be called Know Your Worth. Just know that whatever you're getting, you can, you deserve more. You know, there's certain examples and situations that I can name. But if you guys know exactly what I'm talking about, there's always more. There's never a ceiling or a stoppage point to what you deserve. You know what I'm saying? Like God, clear, God, every person on this earth has a role, has a role to play. Like my mom used to tell me when I was younger, you gonna have friends, they're gonna be there for a reason, a season, or a lifetime. And I, this will ever stick to me. I've had friends come and go, girlfriends, side pieces, leave, whatever. But the people that stay in your life for a lifetime, even if y'all don't talk, but they come back at some point, them are the people that you need to appreciate and be grateful for. Because over the years, I've dealt with a lot of people that have left my life, came back, left my life. But I'm appreciative of them because they got their things going on and I got their things and I got my own things going on. So thank y'all for listening. And I really want to talk about more about what you deserve you know god put us on this planet he really gave us life not for us to settle he really gave us life to flourish if you really want to think about it every person on this earth is born to literally do something if you want to be the best rock picker then be the best be the best rock picker if you want to be the best come here come here Hooper, then be the best hooper. Whatever you want to, whatever you want to do, be the best at it. Because I always had this mindset. Like I was, I'm a huge. I play basketball at college. I'm a huge basketball guy. What is the point of even playing something if you're trying to be in second place? There is no awards for second place. You know, this only applies like if you were like in fifth grade. It don't apply. Like at that time, you just trying to have fun with the game because if you running with that method at that age, you're going to lose your joy for it. You know what I'm saying? So I really wanted to preach to y'all that now is the time to be that go-getter because it's 2020. The world has so many opportunities. And if you want to go to college and get your four-year degree and go crazy, then do you. You know what I'm saying? Whatever, as long as you have a plan, do you. For me personally, I really don't go this personal with you guys, but I decided to today because I'm going to start doing these more often. Today, I did two years of college and then I stopped. And I was finding out I was struggling a lot and it was stressing me out just for other reasons. It's involving money-wise. And then when I, you know, when I was struggling with money, then I wasn't eating. Then I was getting sick. So I just really want to inform y'all, do whatever is best for y'all. Because I, I told you, I really don't tell people this. My dream is to be an entrepreneur. I want to be a model. I want to make my own anime show. I want to be an actor. And an idol, <clears throat> a person I look up to is Michael B. Jordan. And that's one thing I, I need to touch upon. Find that one person who sets a good example, whether they your mom and your dad, or even if it's somebody famous, and set them as a landmark and you keep pushing. Even if they so high up, you can't reach it. If you take step by step, you're going to get closer. And even if you don't get close, just by giving it 100%, you're going to be right there. And uh, yeah, you're going to be right there. And the thing about Michael B. Jordan is I admire him so much. He's such a good actor. I watch literally every movies that he every movie that he's been in. 
Um, my body stature is just like his. Like I told y'all, I want to be a model, so I keep up on my body stature. I make sure I eat good. I make sure I drink a lot of water. For everybody who don't drink a lot of water, make sure you drink a lot of water. I drink a lot of water. So don't let anybody tell, don't let anybody ruin your dream. We call them dream ruiners. That even is a word, I made it up. I had a lot of people in my life, they tell me, oh, you good at basketball, why are you wasting a talent? To be honest with y'all, I've, I've played basketball for almost my whole life. Every year, AAU, we was running summers, Vegas, Peace Jam, we was all over the place. But it's just like, I think at an early age for me, it was taken so serious and they looked at it as more of as an opportunity as more to having fun that I lost the love for it as the years grew. And then once I got to college, I was mentally out. And now that I took this year off, it honestly has made me a whole new person. I got into YouTube. I would have never thought I would even touch the surface of being a YouTuber. I've always wanted to be one, but I found a new love that's replaced basketball and my subscribers are now my family. You know what I'm saying? So I just want to let y'all know that if you want to do something, don't let anybody tell you, tell you what to do. The strongest thing is your mind. Just let you know. And the only person you need to believe in is the only person that needs to believe in you is you, to be honest. Just going this route, I'm not saying I'm not gonna ever finish and get my degree, that's not what I'm saying. I just personally don't know what I'm doing. I'm taking time off to think, which is, in my case, is perfectly fine because that's what I chose to do. All I'm gonna say is this, guys. Make sure you surround yourself with people who are going to lift you up. As you get older, maybe if you guys are listening, you're, you're probably here from you, as you get older, you have to surround yourself with people who are either better than you or who have the same mindset as you as far as reaching your goals. A lot of early in my in my life, I got caught up with not surrounding myself with people who just want to party, go out to clubs. And the thing is, you know, that stuff is fun. But I feel like every, this, this is how my sick mind, sorry y'all, my sick mind thinks. The more I do stuff like that, I'm wasting time on actually making a career because time is coming like this, y'all. And not I'm not gonna get too many chances to be what I exactly wanna be. So that's what I think in my head, like, okay, it's go time, I gotta work. I can skip out on a party. Like, a lot of my friends, they be inviting me places, but people don't realize parties is always gonna be there, bro. I'm pretty sure they was partying with cavemen was alive. You know what I'm saying? Honestly, the girls is always gonna be there, you know what I'm saying? Prettiest young in the world, you know what I'm saying? Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> anyway, y'all, uh, girls is always going to be there. And if you uh, got uh, a girl listening to this, guys is always going to be there, vice versa. So I just really want to explain to y'all that, like, now is the time to be go-getters. If you want to be what you want to be, do it. I, like I told y'all, I explained, I really don't go into deep, but in depth about my dreams and admiration but like i said y'all i really want to be like michael b jordan so that's the barrier that i've set for myself you know what i'm saying and honestly like my work ethic has gotten extremely better i've been in a better place and also before we end this video i got one more thing for y'all you guys know what helps you guys there's something so simple that helps you guys get through the day is your diet now it sounds ridiculous and I thought it was ridiculous because you know me, I was eating chicken, greens, all that every day. What helps you is your diet. Now that I've gotten to working out a lot, um, check out my Instagram page if you guys want to see me lifting a little bit. But I usually take a ginger shot, a wheatgrass shot and get a ginger and greens drink. I pretty much drink it every morning. It totally cleans out your system. It gives me a double boost. Like this is the re that's probably one of the main reasons why I I posted so many videos lately because changing my diet has ultimately made me a better person. And um and I've been energetic. I'm not lazy. I don't get tired. And also I took sugar out of my diet. I don't drink pop. And for all you pop lovers out there, that was tough. That was probably the hardest one for me 
was leave it pop out my diet because I'm like the biggest Coke fan on earth until I until I seen a video, another reason, until I seen a video of what they do with Coke, cleaning toilets, I said, no, sir. But thank you guys for listening to the day, the message of the day, which is know your worth. I'm going to start doing more videos like this so you guys can get to know me as time goes on. But I'm trying to set a goal for myself. I really want to reach 50K by like maybe mid-summer. If it doesn't happen, I'm going to keep pushing. I'm never going to stop. Hope y'all have a good one. Peace, love, positivity, and stay blessed.